लाइफ इज नॉट अबाउट चेजिंग इट्स अबाउट लिविंग ऑल आर लाइफ वी आर चेजिंग थिंग्स ऑब्लिवियस टू द फैक्ट दैट इट्स अ जर्नी विच मेक्स लाइफ इंटरेस्टिंग राधर देन द डेस्टिनेशन हे इज द स्टोरी ऑफ माई जर्नी सो फार इन दिस मिस्टिकल फिनोमिन कॉल्ड लाइफ इट्स बीन एन इनक्रेडिबल जर्नी एंड नॉट ऑलवेज एन ईजी वन माई स्टोरी वुड बी इनकम्प्लीट विदाउट द स्टोरी ऑफ माई पेरेंट्स बिकॉज दे आर द रीजन आई एम स्टैंडिंग बिफोर यू टूडे अल्लाह कॉल्ड माई फादर टू रेस्ट इन पीस वन आई वॉज टू ईयर्स ओल्ड आई नेवर हैड एनी इंटरेस्ट इन वॉट अदर बॉयज ऑफ माई एज वर इन टू नो कार्स एंड नो एक्शन मैन फिगर्स इट वॉज ऑल अबाउट द बुक्स फॉर मी एट द एज ऑफ इलेवन I wrote my first article for the Times of India and after completing my formal education I started my career with an American MNC then I worked for a couple of years in a leading bank as an investment banker but I never ever found myself in the media it was too scattered for me it was that time when I was to get married to the love of my life and just 10 days prior to the wedding she passed away in a car accident I believe that a human being is just like an atom. When an atom breaks, there is a release of energy, and it is up to us what we want to do with that energy. That is, either to make an atom bomb out of it and destroy everything, or make electricity out of it and brighten our lives and that of others. When a human being breaks, he also has two options: whether to create his life in a better way, or to ruin his life completely. I converted all my energy when I broke and wrote a book. My first novel was a tribute to my girlfriend who passed away in a car accident. And it fetched immense love and respect from the readers and critics. My professional writing journey started with writing research papers on microfinance and then my first novel Dear I Hate You happened. It is often said that success occurs when preparation meets opportunity now opportunities will undoubtedly present themselves with time but how are you treating yourself through all of that time spent in preparation for accomplishing your goals in the meantime i write about life and all my books are semi fiction with 80% life about me and my experiences and 20% fiction i love experimenting with life and also with my book it is assumed that an author understand that he is writing for his readers and not for his own fascination and every time my readers i believe want new stuff from me my first novel was a romantic fiction my second one was a thriller the third one was on child psychology the fourth one a paranormal and the fifth one is an epistolary Unfortunately for me experimenting to explore the creative ideas I didn't even know is easy I just have to do something new that's it It takes an incredible amount of energy to wake up every morning and keep moving and keep motivating yourself to work towards the life that you have always imagined living The preparation part of the success equation your journey should be celebrated for success is not simply a destination success is not something that we arrive at one day success has everything to do with your individual day to day choices actions and experiences no matter how big or small they are success has to do with being true to who you are and how you choose to respond to every circumstance that occurs in your life when most people think of writing on a book the picture red carpet glitz glamour flash pub like fireworks on diwali working on a book is just like that without the red carpet glitz or flash pub it is in fact a grueling assault on your body and mind it is a high pressure six days a week war that will test your limits and still demand more a week into a book and you forget the rest of the world even exists it's simply you and whatever it is that you were told to do or wanted to write but yes the experience is terrific as you get to learn new things every day most writers claim that they write only to entertain 
and yet messages do creep into our book whether we will see it or not. I don't write to entertain but write the stories I want to read. It's stories that no one else has written and it's still <laughs> the messages are there. Nothing is as it seems. We are not necessarily who we think we are. History did not necessarily happen the way we think it did. And what we see is not necessarily the truth. But all that was more of a side effect. Mostly I just wanted to write good stories with good characters that I would have loved to read. If you ask me, I dedicate my writing to everyone. My family, my teachers, my friends and my readers. Today, we are in constant contact with our fans and they are as much a part of my family as my family is. Just like with any friend, we share laughter and tears and encourage each other. They touch me deep in my heart and I adore all the smiles they give me. There's not a day that goes by and I don't choke up from the thoughtfulness. It can be a simple statement of love your books or the photos of someone with a tattoo of my books. A quote from the series that I have written or a photo of my book sitting on their shelves. I love the glimpses into their lives. I cherish everyone and they all inspire me to write. I have an advice for the people who want to write. I would forward what an eminent person advised me. The first and the foremost is that first read a hundred books before writing a book. Reading good authors gives an insight into the essence of writing. Today, with six novels and six textbooks under my belt, I think writing is tough. And I have a deep appreciation for those who choose to do it as a full-time job. It's amazing how much goes on behind the scenes when publishing a book. The number of people who are there to tear your work apart and build it back up into something even better is amazing. It's a tough process, but I encourage everyone to give it a try at least once. Writing is hard because we are humans. We are scared, fragile beings who think of every excuse to procrastinate that we ought to be doing. And this is what is hard about writing. It never ends. You can put your game face on for 24 hours or a week and succeed. But that's what makes you a writer. That's why we call it the writing life. Because it consumes who you are and what you do. The difficulty of writing has nothing to do with pen, paper, monitor or keyboard. It has to do with the heart and soul and the mind behind the words. That's the real hard part of writing. The part that will experience all kinds of internal resistance, convincing yourself that no excuse is good enough not to write. So now that you know the hard part, the rest is easy. That's how I write. Connecting the dot backwards from where I am standing now, I believe in Randy Posh theme from the last lecture. Life shouldn't be lived as a pursuit of happiness, but as a celebration of happiness. As I said before, it's not the discrete points which constitute life, but the whole line which defines the journey of life. Whatever it is you might be going through right now, regardless of how challenging it may be, there is always much to be thankful for. Be grateful for who you are and fully appreciate your individuality and all that you have in your life now. Do the very best that you can with what you have now, while at the same time striving towards becoming an even better version of yourself, what you were yesterday. Have faith and always believe that you will achieve anything you set out to do. You are a miracle, my friend. There is no one else out there like you. Start to view yourself and your world today as being miraculous and trust that you will create anything you set out to do. Keep shining. All the best.